All right, guys, welcome back to our virtual event for this Wednesday night. Hopefully everybody's had a good week so far. We've got uh, quite a lineup of dogs tonight, so everybody's going to get to see a little bit of everything. So uh, with that, we'll just roll into the announcement for this weekend. Uh, we've got a couple of events coming up. So on Saturday, it looks like we're going to be at Tractor Supply in Medford. So come on out, 11 to 2, Tractor Supply in Medford. We're also going to be at Anne Mary's, and Anne, Anne, I can't talk tonight. Anne Marie's Farm stand in Setauket from 2 to 4. And we're going to also be at the Bellport Brewing Company from 12 to 3. That looks like all the events on Saturday. Check out the uh, Last Chance Facebook page and the uh, Facebook and the regular Last Chance page to find out which pupperoos are going to be at which events. And uh, if you fosters are going to be at any of those events tonight at this weekend, just let us know when you're presenting so that the potential adopters out there, which are quite a few on tonight, can uh, figure out what they're going to do for their weekend. All right. With that, we'll roll into our first pupperoo for tonight, who is Archie. Give me one second to switch the spotlight over to this beautiful guy. Or we're going to freeze right now. Okay. Hold on one second, guys. There we go. All right. Now we're unfrozen. Now I can switch to Archie. <laughs> All right. Are we getting maybe not? There, oh, there we go. Okay. It's finally working. All right. Here we go, guys. Archie, you're up, buddy. Okay. This is Archie. Archie is about. Almost two years old now. He's about 44 pounds. Archie, look. And uh, he loves to play ball. He's an active dog. He's got great agility. He's looking for an active owner. And uh, he's uh, crate trained. He's house trained. He knows some commands. He plays a great game of ball. Ready? Oh, come on, ready? Go get it. I keep him on a leash, but he always comes right back when he's playing ball. He's very focused on his task. And uh, he'll drop the ball away from me to get it. I can give him a command. Archie, Archie, sit, sit. All right, or down, but stay. Archie, come, come here, good, sit. All right, wait, ready? Okay, go get it. I'm get it. Right there. Good boy. So he's really good. He gets the ball. He comes back. He knows exactly what he's supposed to do. He loves to play. Um, when he's got a task, he completes his task, and he loves to be focused. Um, he completes puzzles. He's a very smart dog. Um, in the car, he's about the best, uh, best passenger you could ask for. If you want him to sit in the back, he'll sit in the back for you. If you invite him up front, he'll wait till he's invited. And if you invite him up front, he'll come on up front. He'll sit down next to you and uh, he'll just ride as your co-pilot. And uh, he's just an outstanding guy. And um, that's Archie. He's got some beautiful brindle to him. Let's see, we'll get nice and close. Archie, look, he's a good boy. And uh, he's just waiting for me to throw the ball again. And he will wait as long as I am. And uh, that's Archie. Want to go? Ready? Let's go. So how's Archie at giving directions when he's your co-pilot? <laughs> oh, he's great. He knows not let me get lost. <laughs> <laughs> bark, bark once for left. Bark two times for right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Three times for, uh-oh, you did it wrong. <laughs> Four times for, stop right there. I want to pick on that tree. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Arch, man, you're such a smart dude. I love it. And you're such a happy man. Look at you. Just wagging yeah. tails and come on, throw that ball again. I love this game. <laughs> yep. Oh, and he gets along great with other dogs. Um, I fostered a lot of other dogs. He's gotten along great with all the other fosters that I've had. Um, some have come and gone. Um, I have another foster here. You'll see a little while. They get along fantastic. I'm just showing them separately so that you can get a good look at each dog individually. 
Um, but they get along beautifully and play together all the time. You're the man, Arch. You are. You are the man. We're going to find you that perfect home that's going to give you everything you need, buddy. You're going to have so much fun once we find it. Don't worry. <laughs> that's right. All right. Well, guys, this beautiful dog here is Archie. Definitely put in those applications and meet Archie in person. If we have any questions tonight, you can definitely throw them in the chat. The uh, app team coordinators are here ready to answer any questions. And uh, we'll just keep on rolling here since we have quite a few dogs to show tonight. We're going to jump over to our next presenter, who is Odette. Give me one second to say goodbye to Archie. Bye, buddy. And say hello to Odette. Once I figure out this thing, oh, man, it's jumping everywhere tonight. Whew. Internet service in Brooklyn is terrible tonight. Okay. Right, Here is Odette. If I, I think, yes, this is Odette. Yep. Here we go. This is Odette, and she just lost her squeaky, squeaky toy, so we'll give it back to her. And so if you hear the squeaks, that's the toy, not Odette. She is listed as four and a half months old. I think she's a little bit older than that, maybe five and a half, six months by her teeth. Um, she's 20 to 25 pounds. I actually just got her yesterday because another foster was traveling. So Odette got passed around. Odette, can you sit down so that mommy can uh, show you on the camera? She is a beautiful girl. She's terrific in the crate. She is great with kids, with other dogs. She is even okay with cats. Decide where you want to go, Odette. And she loves her squeaky toy. She sleeps through the night very quietly in her crate. Just fantastic. Um, and yeah, all around. <laughs> Sorry about that. She loves the squeaky toy. What can you do? Um, whoever adopts her, the squeaky toy can go with her if you really, really want. Um, that's about it. She's perfect. She's good with everyone. She's working on her house training. We're almost there. We're down to about one accident a day. Uh, she loves walking on the leash. And she's just a typical puppy. I love everyone. I want to play with everyone. Esty, I probably missed it when I was reading a, a comment, but uh, how old is Odette? So she's listed as four and a half months. I think she's more like five and a half, six months by her teeth. Um, she's also listed as 16 pounds. That's what she was a while ago. She's now more like 20 to 25. Oh, so Still a little cutie. Look at that face. <laughs> she is adorable. I mean, every, I walk around the block with her and one of my other dogs and any neighbor that sees her just has to stop and pet her. And she is very happy to be pet by everyone. I and can only imagine be, that tail. Yeah, we'll, the tail is black and the rest of her is tan. She's really an interesting color. Uh, maybe boxer mix or black mouth cur, who knows, adorableness. And we're going to be at Anne Marie's farm stand in Setauket on Saturday. Oh, I bet you're going to have lots of people show up there for you, Odette. You're a cutie. Yes, you are. <laughs> so, so, well, there you go. You found where you're going to go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, she doesn't use the shortest path, and, and she likes to climb up mountains, and obviously she gets along with other dogs. Sarah was not such a fan, so she decided to leave. Oh, that's like, wait, I came up here for you. You left. <laughs> yeah. All right, back and to my Even toy. my dog, Mo, loves her, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, this is Odette. Definitely put in those applications and come on out to see her this weekend. You know where she's going to be. She's going to be at the uh, Anne Claire's. Sitaket. Sitaket. Yep, the Anne Marie's. That's the talking. So come on out and meet her in person. Look at that cute little face. Oh, all right. We're going to keep on rolling. We're going to jump over to our next presenter, who is Judd. Give me one second to switch the spotlight for Judd, and we'll get going. All right, Judd, you're up, buddy. All right, everybody. Well, this is Judd. Judd is two years old. He's 46 pounds, give or take. Um, Judd is uh, other dog friendly. He definitely 100% needs a house that has a yard. He is pretty high energy. He runs laps around my backyard. And just to give you a kind of a like, quick idea, that's my yard. 
I got a decent sized yard. Um, and he runs laps around it. He definitely needs to be able to get um, the energy out. Um, he is cat curious. I won't say cat friendly 100%. I won't say cat mean. He's cat curious. He does. I have two cats in the house. He doesn't go after them aggressively. He's just very curious about them. Wants to know why they won't play with them. Um, he'll come up and he'll just basically sit there and stare at him. And the cats kind of look back at him like, what are you looking at? Um, so if you do have cats in the house, I would say if you have a strong willed cat, you'll be better off. A cat that isn't afraid of dogs and will deal with him sitting and laying. As you can say, as you can see, he does know some tricks. He knows sit. He knows lay. He gives wonderful puppy kisses. He is a cuddle bug for once he gets his energy out. Like I said, you definitely have to get his energy out, though. Um, He's house trained. House trained. Um, he does kind of nervous pee a little bit sometimes or excited, kind of leaks. Um, but he doesn't go to the bathroom in the house. As soon as you let him, he has to go outside. He goes outside. He does what he has to do. Has not had any accidents in his crate. Like Deb was just saying, he is crate trained, sleeps in his crate at night. Spends the day while we're at work in his crate. Um, we do have family members that come over and let him out because we work a lot of hours sometimes. So we have a family member that comes out and lets everybody out for a little while for us. Let's him run out some of that energy. Um, in a minute, I'll let the other two dogs out and maybe we'll see how they all play. Come on. These are my two personal dogs. So, no, they're not for adoption. You can't have them. They're mine. <laughs> But no more treats. But hey, and I mean that's Judd. He's a great boy. He's a good dog. He's a good listener. And I mean, look at those eyes. Come here, Judd. Look at those eyes. He's a beautiful boy. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I just got attacked. Any questions? He's a cutie. I love it. He's, oh, he's a adorable. Great coloring. I love. I love the coloring. I love the coloring. I don't remember what breed they said he is. Um. I honestly might don't. Have, might have some border collie or something in there. Yeah, something to that nature. Some kind of collie mix. Yeah, some, some kind of Shetland sheepdog there. Yeah, it's on the way the coat I, is, the legs, and the uh, the ears and nose. Exactly. Kind of That's kind of what I was looking at. Yeah. Um, but like I said, he he definitely needs a room to run. But once he runs off his energy, he just comes and sits and gets his pets and gets his kisses. As you can see, he's very mushy. Oh, yeah. He's like, uh, we're not done yet. I'm coming right back. I'm making another circle, and I'll be right back to you again. <laughs> yeah, he'll come back in about 20 seconds. He he just walks around. I, I do tell everybody, you know, whoever does adopt him, definitely got to give him a little bit of time to get acclimated. He takes a little bit of time. He's going to be checking things out for a couple of days. You know, he needs patience. He needs time. He's a puppy. He's like still Lassie a puppy. There. Like Lassie yeah. right in the yard. <laughs> yep. Oh, he loves to run in the yard. I love it. So for all right, that's Judd, folks. <laughs> all right. Uh, is Judd gonna be at any of the events this weekend? I might have missed it. Uh, yes. Uh Judd's dad likes beer. So Judd and Dad will pro will be at the brewery. All right. So there you go, guys. Put in the applications. Come meet Judd this weekend. Me the, and Judd will have a drink together. At the at the brewery. Judd is not allowed. He's too young, but you can I, share I with think the he's underage. Foster, you can drink with the foster daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Judd. Definitely put on his applications. Any questions, throw them in the chat and definitely come on out this weekend to meet Judd in person. We're going to jump over to our next presenter now, who is Squeaker. Give me one second and switch it over. All right, you little Squeaker, you're up. All right, everybody, this is Squeaker. Um, of course, he was laying right in front of me, and now that we're on video, he's moving away. Um, Squeaker is about four years old, uh, male, um, about 40 pounds, um, really, really sweet dog, very mellow, very low energy. Um, you know, he likes to get outside, and we go for walks and stuff like that, but he, he really, you know, doesn't require any energy to be burnt off. If you can see, he's just got this you know, very relaxed look in his eyes most of the time. Um, 
you know, sometimes I got to look at his tail to see if it's wagging, to see if he's happy, which it, he does a lot. Um, but he is, you know, he is kind of a, you know, a mellow dog. Um, you know, he's good with other dogs. Um, he, he did an overnight when he first got here with a house that had two other dogs and the cat didn't you know didn't really pay any mind to the cat so i would say he's fine around cats he seems to be you know pretty a, a dog that goes with the flow um sleeps through the night in the crate no accidents in the crate he's housebroken he's had one accident since i had him here the last four days and i think he was just probably marking on a spot where another foster dog had uh, gone to the bathroom at some point um that was the first night and that was it um we've you know we go out for about four or five walks a day for a few, you know, for five, 10 minutes, he does what he has to do. We come back in and he, he chills out. I work from home and he, he pretty much spends the whole day in my office with me and really doesn't make a peep. You know, he's a really, you know, sweet dog. He, he likes to meet new people. You know, he's interested in other dogs he encounters. Um, but you know, he could, he could be an only pet or he could be in with a group of pets. I, I think he would just go with the flow. Like I said, and he is going to be at uh, Bellport Brewery. And um, if he doesn't get scooped up there, he's going to be at the Setauket event as well on Saturday. You're going to make the rounds, huh? I got it. <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that's another thing. He loves the car. Like, he's great in the car. And I can't get him out of the car. Um, he just likes to, you know, go for rides and stuff like that. So if anyone, you know, wants a dog that's good in the car, he lays down the whole time. He's not rolling around in the back seat every time you make a sharp turn or anything like that. He's really good at it and seems to really enjoy it. Is he a good navigator like Archie, though? Does he bark twice to make a right turn? This dog, he has barked once in the five days I have had him. So no, <laughs> he's very quiet. His name is Squeaker. You might think he's a noisy dog. Um, he does these little tiny, I wouldn't call him squeaks, like grunts sometimes when he's like a little excited. But outside of that, he really doesn't make any noise. You can see he's like falling asleep right now. That's awesome. Such a great temperament. <laughs> Yes, you're a handsome man. Yes, you are. Okay. And you can see his little stubby tail wagging when I come I near him. I see that. You're <laughs> such a handsome man. Yes, you are. Yeah, you cutie. All right. Well, guys, that is Squeaker. Definitely put on those applications or come out this weekend and meet Squeaker in person. If you have any questions, a lot of people are using the chat feature right now. Just throw your questions in the chat. We've got the answers. All right, Squeaker. You did a great job. I'm going to let you go to sleep because you look very tired. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to jump over to our next presenter. Who is going to be lucky? Give me one second to spotlight lucky. Sweet. All right, guys, here's lucky. Yeah, this is lucky. Lucky is about a year old and 22 oh. pounds now. Um, lucky is Crate trained and house trained. He loves his toys. He's very playful. Um, he doesn't want to give me the ball. He just wants to play with it. And that's fine. He's having a great time. Um, he does no sit. Um, when I call him, most of the time he comes. Come here, Lucky. Come here. Come here, Lucky. Well, maybe not this time, but that's okay. He's just having too much of a good time right now. And, um... He's just an all-around good, great little small dog. He's extremely affectionate. He loves to sit on your lap. If you're looking for a lap dog, he is, oh, come here, boy. He is absolutely uh, a wonderful lap dog. Um, as you can see, he has a prey drive. So if there's something running, he's going to chase it. Um, there's a bunny back here. So uh, he's very excited about that. And, um... There's a lot of wildlife where I am. Mm -hmm. uh, come here. So yeah, right now he's too entertained with the bunny. Um, come here, come here, Lucky. Come here, come here, Lucky. Good boy. Come here. I know there's a rabbit. Uh, one of the other dogs got his attention for a second. But you can see there's a rabbit right there on the corner. He really wants to go play with it. Um, come here, Lucky. But he's just a lot of fun. He's very affectionate. Loves to sit on your lap. Loves to cuddle. 
um, wants to just enjoy you, has plenty of energy, and uh, he is an acrobat. He can he can jump a good four feet. So if you are looking for a dog to run in the backyard, you would need probably a good five foot or higher fence um, to keep him secure. Um, four feet will not do it. He is absolutely able to scale that with not a problem. And um, he's just really a super guy. And uh, that's Lucky. Ah, such a cutie. When he was standing there with yeah. one paw up in the air, he looked like a little dash hound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's very excited about this rabbit. He's never been all the way back here in our yard. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there is a question in the chat about Lucky. They want to know how Lucky is in the car. Oh, Lucky's very good in the car. The only problem is he wants to be attached to you. Um, so if you're if you're driving and he can lay next to you and touch you, he's fine. Um, he's great. But um, I would use if you wanted to stay in the back seat, I would use a little harness and keep him back there. I always tether him in, of course, um, so that he couldn't jump out and run. And uh, But he definitely wants to be touching somebody at all times. That's awesome. I love it. So uh, he's great. Cool. He is a snuggle <laughs> bunny. <laughs> so, he's so funny just watching the round. He's like, go ahead, move again. I'm coming back there. <laughs> yeah, he's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> he's prancing around now <laughs> he is he's so happy i love it <laughs> all right well guys that is lucky uh is lucky going to be at me events this weekend um no he isn't but i would take him for meets um this weekend he's not going to be in an event at any of the events okay so guys if you want to meet lucky put in that application you know get that approved and then we'll set up a meet and greet and you go meet lucky and have a good old time because he's clearly having fun right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is lucky. Any more questions? Throw them in the chat and we'll definitely answer those. All right. We're going to jump over to our next presenter who has got two pupperoos to show. Uh, Cubano and Swiss. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. We'll find out in a second. Boy. <laughs> Man, what a boy. So slow tonight. Come on. All right, guys. Here are Cubano and Swiss. Hello. This is Swiss first. He is about a year old and 50 pounds. He loves to play. He's very, very dog friendly. Um, he is housebroken. He's crate trained. He sleeps through the night. Uh, no accidents in the crate. He likes to wake up about six o'clock, but you could change that with your schedule eventually. Um, he, what else? I don't know what else. I just got him Monday morning. Then Cubano, um, this little one right here, the, she's brown, kind of brindly. She is four months and 20 pounds. She is almost housebroken about an accident a day. Um, she's crate trained, she sleeps through the night, no accidents. She is also very, very dog friendly. Um, <laughs> she's very food motivated, both of them really. Um, Swiss here, the older one, he knows sit, he knows crate, to just go in when you tell him to, and he knows paw. And then Cubana, we're still working on sit with her. She really likes treats, so it's hard to get her to sit down for a second. <laughs> And both of them will be at Anne Marie's farm stand on Saturday in the docket from two to five, I believe. Huh. She, she's so funny. She's just like, so hey, cute. Pet, me, pet me, get close, get close, pet me. <laughs> <laughs> and usually when we go outside, she's the more curious one and he is attached to my side. <laughs> <That's> so funny! <laughs> but they get along so great, so so fun. For the size difference, he is very gentle with her. Yeah, I I took him on as a foster, thinking he'd be the perfect playmate for my own dog, and he's really a better playmate for her. So it works out. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. <laughs> I love it. 
All right. Well, guys, definitely put in those applications. Come meet these two in person. You can't go wrong with either one of these guys. I right, look at that cute little face. Look at those. Look at that cute face playing with your bone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is Cubano there, and that is Swiss over there with the the toy. So definitely come on out, put in those applications, and meet them in person. All right, we're gonna jump to our next presenter, who is Carl. Give me one second. Hey, Carl, you guys did an awesome job. Hi, this is Carl. Um, Carl is a boy and he is 12 pounds and 14 weeks old. That's our dog, Cooper. So he's clearly dog friendly and also cat friendly. My cat's sitting right across from us. Um, he's kind of small. He's only uh, 12 pounds, but I don't think he'll grow that big because his paws are not that huge. Right, puppy? Um, he's very, very smart. He knows how to sit already and nose down. And um, he is potty trained. He, even though he wants to go inside, he'll go on the... Um, what do you call it, the pee, the wee-wee mat. So sometimes if we did, we couldn't take him out, you know, as often as we can, he would go to the mat and wee on it. Um, he, yeah, he knows how to pee, how to poop outside. Um, he knows how to leash walk as well. Um, yes, Carl, I think, is a shepherd and... Um, not, what do you call the one with, the, with no tail schnauzer? I think it might be a schnauzer because he doesn't have a tail. He has a little stumpy, stump, stumpy tail. And he's super soft, um... He is really furry and he needs a little trim on his paws. But he's a really smart boy. He is okay being in the crate, but you have to hang out with him, calm him down before you just you can't just drop him and leave him. He will freak out. So what we have been doing is putting him in the crate, you know, talking to him, chilling, you know, chill out with him, and then we can close the door. Otherwise, he will freak out. Um, we have left him. Today we left him once and he was fine again because we did the whole ritual. Uh, unfortunately, my husband and I both have COVID so we can't leave the house. Um, so we haven't checked if he's okay by himself in the crate without us in the house. But yeah, he's a cutie pie. Um, very, very smart. Um, pretty low energy. He wants to play with my dog, but my dog is not interested. Um, he wants to chew on my dog. So yeah, cat friendly and dog friendly. He's got the cute little fluffy ears, too. I love it. The little puppy fluff. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Carl. If there's any questions, definitely throw them in the chat. It looks like uh, Carl might be a mix of a Spaniel Shepherd, but he's definitely going to be a low rider, not going to be as big as a Shepherd. In that cute little face, you're going to get lots of looks walking this dog. So definitely put in those applications. <laughs> yeah, he has those puppy dog eyes, you know, the ones, the fake cartoon eyes. Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. One of the cutest, one of my cutest fosters. Yeah, yeah such a handsome man there, buddy. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Carl. Any questions, throw them in the chat. Other than that, put in those applications. Definitely put in those apps. Don't sit around and wait because Carl's probably not going to last very long. Not with that cute little face. <laughs> All right, we're going to jump over to our next presenter and we're going to say goodbye to the cute little Carl and hello to Claire. Give me one second to switch the spotlight. All right, guys, here's Claire. All right, this is Claire. Um, my mom's holding on to her leash. Hopefully we won't have any problems with the Wi-Fi or any stops. She is 11 months old and about 35 pounds. Um, the rescue that she came from actually told her that her mom is a Chewini and she is the tallest of her litter. All the other dogs were shorter. They have no idea what she was mixed with, but I've seen the photos of mom. She's very cute. She knows sit and stay, but we're working on calm and leash work. Um, she's She definitely seems very fast. I mean, very, to be very smart. Yes, very fast. She loves to run around. Um, loves to play. She's good with other dogs. I have an eight-year-old dog and a 12-year-old dog, so she's learning their boundaries pretty well. Um, she likes to chase her tail. She was doing that earlier. She likes to play outside. We, the last couple of days, weather's been amazing. She's a playful puppy and she loves people, I should say. That's very important. She loves people. So... 
Uh, do we know about how much she weighs? 35 pounds. 35. I think you did say that already. Yeah. I, I think she I was, Oh, she's, she's great in the crate. She'll like yeah. whine for like one or two minutes, but then she'll like settle down. We don't need the TV. We don't need the TV on. Um, actually, she does better with the TV off and uh, just a blanket over the crate. And she'll even go to the crate for her own to relax. So. Yeah. That's a very good girl. Yes, it is. Go to your crate to yeah, relax. Taking those treats very calmly and softly. Yeah. She's so gentle. Yeah, you're a cutie. Yes, you are. Look at you. <laughs> Just hanging out. Yeah. She'll be at Anne Marie's farm stand this weekend. All right. Perfect. That's great. All right, guys. We'll definitely see. Put in those applications. Come on out. This yes. Weekend. Come see Claire. She's Perkins. soft. Look at this cute little dog. <laughs> He's awesome. <You> sure <laughs> Come on out, see how soft she is, and make sure uh, to bring that dinosaur. That's the cool little dinosaur there. <laughs> yes, yeah. that's the toy she likes. <laughs> She's a playful puppy. Yeah, that's why we like to like have it. her outside. She looks like it. She wants to play right now. She's looking what she wants to she, do. <laughs> she does. She does. She's not happy. She's on the leash right now. She's like, <laughs> I want to run. I want to explore. So she would definitely be better in a yard because she needs to get out her puppy energy. So. There you go. Perfect, yeah. perfect. All those smells. She wants to smell everything. That's great. Yeah. As the <laughs> days have gone on, she's opened up with us more and become more interested in cuddling and attention. But from the first day, she's always wanted people around her. And the only way to not have people around her was to have her in the crate in like a calm environment. So. That's awesome. You did such a great yeah. job, Claire. Yes, you did. Yeah. Hopefully she does this well at the event. Oh, I'm sure you will. Look at that cuteness. You're going to have no problems at the event. You're going to have fun with all the other dogs. You're going to want to play. Oh, she That's will. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, that is Claire. Definitely put in those applications. Any questions, throw them in the chat. We've got ready people ready to answer those questions. And we're going to jump over to our next presenter now, who is Riley. Bye, Claire. You did great. <laughs> all right let me just find riley here here we go all right guys here is riley hi everyone i was hoping for a little bit more of a show uh this is definitely pretty early for riley to want to go to sleep but uh I'll, I'll get him up towards the end so you can see his you know his size and his face um, Riley is definitely some sort of a Chihuahua mix. He's about five years old and about 13 pounds. He is, um, house trained. He's only had one accident. And, uh, just like Eric said, I think, um, he was really just marking in a spot that a previous, a previous foster had beat on, uh, no, no other accidents in the house since he's been here. He's been with me for about five days now. Uh, he sleeps great in the crate through the night. Um, he didn't like being left alone the first the first night, which is totally understandable. Uh, so I did bring the crate into the bedroom um, and he sleeps like, like, you know, like a rock um, as long as, as long as he, he knows that I'm there. Uh, but he does not sleep on the bed. He sleeps fine in the crate. The crate is right there. Uh, who wouldn't want to sleep in that? It looks like a, it looks like he sleeps on a cloud, uh, but he sleeps through the night without a peep. No problem at all. Usually waits until I wake up in the morning to start making some noise. He is very low energy. The only times he ever shows any real uh, bursts of energy is when I go to let him out. He gets very excited to come out of the crate and he gets very excited to eat. Uh, he does this this cute little dance uh, that some of you may have seen the video posted to the main uh, Last Chance page on Facebook. Um, he he dances up on his back legs as his food is being prepared. Um, so other than coming out of his crate and waiting for his food, he's like, I, I have not seen a single episode of Zoomies. Um, he's just really low key, um, spectacular on a leash. He literally stands right next to me. No prey drive that I've seen whatsoever. Um, he hasn't pulled on the leash uh, and we go walking at least twice a day. Uh, he's been doing about a mile with me um, after dinner the last couple nights. And he's just so chill. On the, he's honestly the easiest dog I think I've ever had to walk on a leash. Um, so he that's an awesome characteristic for him to have. He likes being out and uh, he doesn't give you a hard time. In fact, 
he's I, I as you can see I don't have the collar on him right now we keep them kind of tight so when he's sleeping I take it off of him um he'll sit at the door and patiently let me put the collar on him he doesn't like <laughs> he doesn't flail uh he doesn't get overexcited he patiently sits sits there waiting for me to put the collar on he patiently lets me leash him uh it's uh, he's honestly such a pleasure in that respect uh he's kind of a velcro dog <laughs> whenever i'm either out in the backyard with the other dog or walking around the house um i'm always like where is he where is he and he's like literally at my feet uh he will totally follow you around and you won't know he's there because he does not make a peep uh he has not barked once since he's been here in the last five days uh, he has cried a bit the first couple of times I put him in the crate, but uh, I think he understands, you know, that the crate is temporary. Um, so that has sort of gone by the wayside. So he is super quiet, super calm. Um, he's very smart. He seems to have figured out our routine pretty quickly. Like he knows we come out of the crate. We go straight outside to go to the bathroom, does all his business outside. Um he loves tennis balls, not much into the plush toys, but he'll catch a tennis ball in the air if you bounce it for him. Um, what else do I have for you? He gets along great with other dogs. I have a 10 pound Chihuahua. They get along like gangbusters. And, um, but I think he's pretty adaptable. I think he would do fine without another dog. And I think he'd be fine, you know, with another, with another dog or two. Uh, so he's pretty flexible that way. Um, we will be at Bellport Brewing on Saturday. Let's see if I can get him up so I can show you his face. Come here, bud. Come here. Riley, come here. That's a good boy. Who's handsome? Handsome boy. You want to play with this squeaky ball? You want to play with the ball? Come here. Good boy. Let's, can you do it? I know you, I know you're up <laughs> on his back legs and walks around like a human. Come here. Oh, all right. You didn't catch it that time. Try one more time. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I think the phone is throwing him off. Anyway, He's as you can see, <laughs> he, he does have some. He does have some life in him. <laughs> He's he's not dead to the world quite yet. Um, uh, a little tail is wagging around. He's yeah, not, uh, it's it's honestly it's the cutest little tail. It's like a curly cue. Um, Oh, he's a handsome boy. I know. Big yawn. Big yawn. Um, it's one of those, it's like a spiral. Like a, he's like a little piggy tail. <laughs> <laughs> and who wouldn't like your crate? That's better than some of the hotels I've stayed in. So it's Seriously. Decorative. It's all decked out plush. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. It's like, he's like, he's like, why'd you bother me? That was boring. <laughs> he's like, that's it. You bounced it twice. We're done. Okay. Yeah. We're laying back down. Yeah. He uh I mean it was it was warm and sunny out today. We did go for a walk when I came home on lunch, so he's probably a little bit tired from that. Um, but he's just such a pleasure to be around and to have around the house. So um get those applications in for him. He's a little gem. All right, guys, you heard it. Put those apps in. Such a handsome boy. Riley, Riley is your Riley's your dog if you're looking for a little app. Yeah, handsome boy. Those little ears. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Riley. Definitely make sure to get those applications in. Oh, Little pups like Riley don't last very long. They go quick. So definitely put in those apps. All right, Riley. You did such a great job, bud. Yes, you did. Say thank you. All right. We're going to jump over to our next presenter, guys, who is Austin. Give me one second to switch over the spotlight. What you hear outside? Right. So this is Austin. He is five years old and 13 pounds. He just woke up. So he's, and he keeps wanting to try and snuggle me and kiss me. And I'm like, no, but <laughs> no, you can't. I don't want to be in the picture in the video. Um, so he is, oh, come on. So abuse. Uh, <laughs> you get him without being like. Yeah, he plays a game where he tries to get as close to you as possible because he's like in love with people. <laughs> yeah. So he, um, Let's see. So he had a couple of accidents the first day. Um, and uh, but since then, he hasn't had any accidents in the house. He hasn't had any accidents in the crate, but he's not really um, loving the crate in terms of he'll he'll go in it, but he doesn't really like the door closed. He wants to be able to get to you and be with you because he's really like a major shadow. He really just loves being with people, loves snuggling with everybody, loves dogs. 
um, he loves the two little dogs we have. And um, I had Talon on the first day and he's a much bigger dog, a puppy. And I had posted some pictures. He was in the dog bed. Talon came over and basically laid on top of him. And he was happy with that. That was fine. Um, we have a Bernard Doodle next door that comes over and, and says hi. Um, he's fine with, with all dogs so far. And um, he's like a circus dog. He likes to jump. Um, he can jump high. Um, he was doing a trick with my daughter where he, um, she says, come, and he jumps up into her arms, and um, she catches him and um, does some dancing. Oh, he's coming to you. He's trying to get to me, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so sweet. Hold on, speak here with me. <laughs> um, what else can I say about him? He is, um, he doesn't get car sick. He just goes in the car. And he loves to run around. Come on, bud. <laughs> almost your debut is almost over, and then you can just snuggle in. He loves to give kisses. Um, very friendly. I think it's the first day, you know, we've only had him a few days. He um it was on Saturday. He was a little uh shy at first, but um he warmed up pretty quick, even with um people that came over to visit and everything. He was uh, my daughter's friend was over. He was in her lap for most of the time. Uh, she even asked her parents. She's like, can we have a second dog? And they said no. But <laughs> if they could, they, uh, he would probably be one because uh, he just really loved her. He was really in her lap the whole time. Um, and she's a teenager. So uh, so sometimes they're you know not interested in um, hanging out with uh, the family dogs. But he was really lovable. So she was very interested. But um and I think that's it. We're going to be at um, Amory's um, farm stand. I think it is on Saturday. It's a talk at right, bud. Yeah. That's so. awesome. You're a, you're a little look at you, so happy. Just like ah, yeah, she's just, yeah. just rubbing my neck. That's all you got to do. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, that's and he wants to go give kisses. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And your your dogs keep photo bombing in the background there. There was one yes, on the, some yeah. of the, the other one kept trying to get on the <laughs> They're like, hey mom, we're here too, you know. Don't worry about <laughs> such a happy little guy. I love it. All right. Well, guys, there you go. That's Austin. Definitely put in those applications. Go meet this cutie in person. Come see him this weekend at Anne Marie's and have that application in because uh I'm sure he might walk. So definitely put in those apps. All right. We're going to jump over to, we're gonna jump over to our next presenter who's got two pupperoos, Faith and Holly. Give me one second and switch it over. Oops, wrong button. There we go. All right, guys. Here is Faith and Holly. Hello. Say hi. Hi, can you hear me? Yep, you're good to go. Okay, so right now, um, my husband just picked up Holly. Um, these girls were play, 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 and now they're they're tired. Um, they they are sisters. Um, that is Faith. She's the tinier one. Hi, Boo Boo. Come on. <laughs> Come on, wake up. Wake up. They are exhausted. Look at them. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I just want to go back to sleep. Um, they're they're doing really well. Um had them since Saturday. Um, as you can see, this one, Holly, is the bigger one, and Faith is the smaller one. Um, Faith has um the the white paws we call them socks and she has more of a brown face um both have very good appetites they play really well they get along with my dogs um still learning the whole the whole training thing um but they're doing well not many not as many accidents in the house as you would think um they're learning and um, it's just been a pleasure. They they cry in the crate for maybe a couple of minutes, but they're usually so tired they go right back to they go right to sleep, um, and they go into the crate no problem. 
Um, they are around three and a half months, I guess between 16 to 20 pounds. As you can see, Faith is loving her belly rubs. Um, very loving, very friendly, very affectionate um, girls. They just, they just love to play with you and kiss you and cuddle. Um, that's, um, I guess, did I cover everything? Yeah, no, you nailed it. <laughs> um, they will be at um the Setauket Farmers Market with Anne Marie, Anne Marie's farm stand. Oh my God, look at that! I I I got to tell you, this is our first time fostering two dogs, two puppies together, and we are loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. We are just enjoying these two immensely. They are. So sweet and so adorable. Um, just we're really just enjoying it. And even my dogs are are enjoying it too. They they everybody is getting along really well. Can't That's say great. anything bad. Look at you too. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They're so sweet. They're so adorable. They're just like yeah, we're exhausted. We puppied it yep. up over here, but uh, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> They're having a great time now. Just sitting back, relaxing, getting those cuddles in right before bed. Oh, yeah. Look at, look at Holly's like, I'm done. Please, no more. She's like, I'm just going to, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to lay here. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> this is the spot. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, um, I think someone just asked a question about um, did someone just ask a question about them having to go did. together? Yep. No, they do not. Um, they are siblings, but they're puppies. Um, and no, they don't have to be adopted together. Little no, it's just um, yeah. we just chose to foster them together. That's all. It was um, just something we decided to do but they don't have to be adopted together. Oh. <laughs> She's like, uh, can I just go in the crate? Can I just go in and go to sleep? She's like, I went in my crate. I did what I was supposed to do. Why are you putting Yeah, this is actually one of our other dog's crates, but they, they all share. <laughs> they all share. <laughs> so adorable. I love it. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Faith and Holly. Definitely put in those applications. Come meet these two in person. They yes, are we'll be adorable. there on Saturday. All right. Definitely come on out, guys. You guys and thanks, everybody, for hanging in there. Yeah, no. They save, you know, save the best for last. Look at these two little cute. Ah, yeah, the best. <laughs> the two sleepy ones. The two sleepy ones. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that is Faith and Holly. Definitely put in those apps. Any more All right. Thank you. In the chat. Thank you. Bye-bye, cutie. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, that is our awesome lineup for tonight. We had quite a few pupperoos ranging from all different ages, sizes, and energy levels. So there has to be a pup in there for you. So definitely come on out this weekend. Support Last Chance. Come meet some of these pupperoos in person and definitely put in those applications. They're good for a year. So just put it in just to have it already approved. So when that pupperoo does come along, you're already ready to go and you're the front runner for it. So with that, I will say good night. Everybody have a great rest of the week and see you guys this weekend. Have a good one.